Rotation can demand more effort sometimes, otherwise, you will spend the whole day. But what if you could do it in a second and save your precious time? You want to know how? Then stick around because I will show you all 7 useful features that I don't want you to miss in Filmora 12.1 from point 1 up to 12.1.6. Trying to rotate files from the preview window is just a piece of annoying and time-consuming labor, and the reason is that there are some angles where snapping doesn't help. So to make it better I had to make some digit trials until I got the exact one. Just enter some number values, and play around until I get the right one. This could be a better way, but here is the faster one. Move your mouse onto the rotation number values. Then scroll the mouse wheel according to your rotation. Sometimes you need to zoom in your preview window, so that you can have a closer look. But here is the annoying thing, so many clicks to get your zoom, and it's the same thing when you want to reset the zoom level. But now this has become a simple thing you can do, just set it on custom and use control from your keyboard and then scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Now you can work on your zoomed preview window without much effort. Whenever you would edit a video in previous versions, you had to drag down transitions every time and again. This version has simplified it by making it possible to copy and paste transitions. For example if I want this dissolve transition between these next two videos, I just click the transition and then Ctrl plus C, for copy. Now for you to paste right in the middle, you must select the first video on the two videos. If you select both clips, the transition will be pasted on this position as well as here. So if you want it only on this portion just select the first clip and paste. When you want to add a keyframe to your video or image in the timeline, you double click and go to transform then add a keyframe from here. You can do it easily in this Filmora update. Just decide which frame you want to add a keyframe. For example, I want to add it right here on the 7th minute. And the playhead is away and also the video is not selected, just hold the Alter key and double left click your mouse, automatically the keyframe is added. If you check on your toolbar above the timeline, you see some changes. This icon is showing that the mouse is working as a selector in the whole timeline. If you select here, you can turn it into a quick split mode. It's now a splitting tool in the whole timeline. Same applies when you select the audio stretch tool. So the audio stretch and the quick split mode were combined together, and you can still use the keyboard shortcuts as in previous versions. Now in Filmora 12.1, you don't have to keep giving details on every project export. If I am exporting this video, and have set all the specifications from here, for example let me put 9000 variable bitrate and also 24 fps here just to make a difference from the default, and then hit the export. Now I will exit the software and then start up a new project. Now when I am exporting this second project, what I just have to do is to tick this box from the bottom left of the exporting window, then the same details will be applied, 9000 bitrate and 24 fps, and you have saved your precious time. Now let's check out the last update in this version and as always when I make a list, there is a bonus at the end. Let's say you are creating a thumbnail like this one here and you have three texts in your timeline. Now Filmora has made it easy for you to see which text is showing up to which in the preview screen. So whenever you customize a text in the properties window, it will update in the timeline so that you will see it faster. Let's see the bonus in this video. Imagine when you will be just submitting order details, and receive it just in a moment, exactly as it was in your mind. That's the next generation of AI right? Now Filmora has gotten the secret, that's why they're packing the AI tools right with the software. AI image is the feature in version 12.1. When you click, a new window comes over, and here you must make sure your internet connection is active. Here you put a description of the image you want as the example given in the box. 
After selecting a resolution, you hit start creating. Now as I have said earlier, we are looking forward to the betterment of this feature in the next few upgrades. So it's not very accurate yet but in the near future, this will be insane, you better download Filmora today if you haven't yet and enjoy the current features as well as the future exploits. If you have liked the video, just subscribe to the channel and for more useful tutorials, just check that video on the screen or you can choose a full playlist on Filmora 12 tips and tricks.